as I have already mentioned in the previous video, uh, we will be learning a little bit in good way what is intersecting sets and disjoint sets. This is the two types of the sets we need to learn. Uh, and it, it, it is very important uh, to represent in Venn diagram. We should know that concept. So, uh, sets while representing in the Venn diagram may be two types. Maybe one, one may be disjoint sets. All right. Disjoint sets. And another may be intersecting sets. So, what is disjoint sets? So, in Venn diagram, if you are drawing Venn diagram and if the sets are completely independent, all right, this is set A, this is set B, this is set C, and none of the elements of A is found in the B, and similarly, none of the elements of B is found in C. Or you can say the elements of A is just found in A, elements of B is just found in B, elements of C is just found in C. In that case, we can say this is disjoint sets. Nothing is matching between them. Like suppose we have set A, that is 1 and 2. We have set B, that is say 10 and 11. All right. Uh, we have set C, suppose uh, uh, 4 and 5 and 6. 4, 5, 6. And we have the universal set U, suppose uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, till uh, 15, suppose. All right. This is our universal set. So, so in that time, now see here. A is carrying 1 and 2, which is not in B. Similarly, C is carrying 4, 5, 6, which is not in A and B. You know, similarly, B is 10 and 11, which is not found in A and C. So, all the subsets of U should be independent, and none of the elements should be matching in the subset of uh, U. All right. So, so that time we say these are disjoint sets. Um, in sets maybe two or three or um, any any number. We we don't care. All right. So suppose this information f I'm going to put in the Venn diagram. So this will be something like this. As you know already that first we need to draw the rectangle to represent the Venn diagram. And this u is representing the rectangle uh, which is including all the elements of the universal set. All right. This rectangle u. All right. Uh, now a. All right. This is subset a. Another subset b. Now see I did not Masked, I did not share any section between A and B because there is none of the elements common between these two. Nothing is common between A and B. That's why I represented separately. And now I'm going to draw C. Oh, sorry, I cannot go outside. C. Now C also I make independently. It's not going to attach with B or A because C's elements, elements of the C, is not found in A and not found in B. That is why. All right. That's why we say this is disjoint sets. And I will just fill off all the words. Uh, uh, sorry, all the elements of the A, B, and C, and then finally U. So what is found in A and B? In A, there is one, and there is two. And in B, we have ten, and we have eleven. And in C, we have four, we have five, and we have six. That's it. And now rest of this, whatever is there, we'll write. Uh, in the u sec uh, in the section u so in universal set uh, which is from 1 to 15 we got already 1 we got already 2 we don't have 3 so let me write 3 4 5 6 and then write 7 and then 8 and then 9 we have here 10 we have here 11 12 13 and then 14 and then 15 this is the way how to represent a disjoint set in the in the vein diagram right and it, there may be just 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 maybe there Maybe just two elements, uh, two two sets which are independent. All right, none of the elements of this set is in this set. Uh, that time we say this is uh, disjoint sets. All right, these are disjoint disjoint sets. Now let's talk about what is intersecting sets. Intersecting from the name itself, you are uh, getting intersecting. Something is getting intersect intersecting. Something is common between the sets. All right, like uh, like. We have a Venn diagram, something like this. Always you will get something common. Suppose we have said this is A and we have said B. We have two sets and between these two sets, if some portion is common, some portion is common means the some portion, uh, some elements of some members of A and members, uh, some members of A is the members of B also. Or you can say there is some common members, members which are found in A also and which are found in B also. All right, such things. Uh, such uh, such type of set, uh, not the thing. Such type of set is called uh, intersecting sets. Uh, let me take an example. Suppose A, uh, we have uh, four, five, and six, and let me say B is uh, two, uh, four, six, and nine. All right, and we have universal sets. Suppose U, we have uh, zero, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 
8 and then 9 and then 10 all right this is our universal set so how we'll represent this into the Venn diagram uh, I'm, I'm representing here this into the Venn diagram so before uh, I have already before I have already said what is Venn diagram and how to represent so I'm, I'm making here rectangle all right and this is you representing the universal set so as I said something is common here check it up in A and B you know in these two set subsets of A U something is common that is 4 4 is found here also 4 is found here also 6 is found here also 6 is found here also all right so we have to make say uh, we have to make the uh, diagram something like this all right so first I will make here a all right and some elements of a is shared in B also is found in B also so we're going to make some common uh, this this some common parts all right here here we'll be writing the common elements which is found in A also and which is found in B. Okay. So first, whenever you're going to write a vein diagrams, means elements whenever you're going to put into the vein diagram after drawing the structure, start from the intersecting points. Always keep this mind in uh, keep this point in the mind. This is a kind of method or rule you can say that makes you easier. So first, what is common here? First, uh, first four, and the next common is six. All right. So we fi finish the common part, and once you finish the common part, now you can write the subsets, left elements of that subset. In subset A, what is left now? Four, five, six were there. Four and five already is here. Now left is five. So I'll put here five. All right. And now this is B. And in B, four and six is already included. Two and four is left here. So this is two, and this is four. Okay, and now whatever elements are left, just write in the U sec section of uh, in the in the in this outer region of this A and B. So uh, we don't have zero in this common, and then one, two is here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. If you don't give the uh, points also, that's okay. Now like. Uh, uh, while writing in fast, fast we forget to write the points. It's okay. It can be considered, all right? Uh, but don't forget to write properly that uh, elements. This is this is what I was saying about the intersect inter inter intersecting sets. So here A and B, I would say this is an intersecting set, right? Intersecting sets. If there are three sets, then it, it may be like something. If there are three sets and three sets have the common thing. So that time we'll be making figure like this, all right? This is the common intersection. Suppose one element is found in A also, this is A also and B also and C also. That time, if some elements is found in A, B, and C in all subset, that time we'll that time we'll be starting from this section and we'll fill first this, and then we'll write those elements only found in A and B. We'll fill up here. Uh, what is yeah? We'll fill this person. And those elements which are found in A and C only will be putting here. And those elements which are found in B and C only will be putting here. And those which are just in A will be writing here, just in B, here, and just in C will be writing here. And then rest of this into the section of this U. Alright, this is the way how we represent the uh, intersecting sets. Later we are going to learn a lot, a lot, a lot of practice we are going to do. So there you'll feel easy and how I'm doing uh, try to get the concept and if there is any questions to ask or maybe some confusion in my explanation then please feel free to comment just below this video or you can message me uh, you can like us in Facebook Twitter whatever all right you can uh, ping me back all right and don't forget to subscribe the channel catch you in the next video goodbye